Good evening. The Israeli Prime Minister's historic visit to Australia is already being marked by protests and controversy. Benjamin Netanyahu is the first sitting Israeli leader to visit Australia. But while talks focused on security and technology, he wasn't able to avoid tough questions on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Historic steps on Australian soil. Never in almost 70 years of statehood has a serving Prime Minister of Israel visited before. A quick ride across the harbour before joining Malcolm Turnbull at Sydney's Admiralty House. Benjamin Netanyahu receiving a full ceremonial welcome, then meeting the Governor-General Peter Cosgrove. For two long-standing allies, there's surprisingly little trade and investment between Australia and Israel, something the pair wants to change. Formal talks focused on increasing cooperation in cyber security, science and technology. But it wasn't long before the questions turned to Israel and the Palestinians. Mr Netanyahu was asked about the push by Bob Hawke and Kevin Rudd for Australia to recognise a Palestinian state. He had some strong words for the former Prime, Prime Minister. Ministers. I ask uh, both uh, uh, former Prime Ministers uh, to ask a simple question. What kind of state will it be that they're advocating? A state that calls for Israel's destruction, a state that will, whose territory will be used immediately for radical Islam. To give you an idea of just how tight security is for this visit, guests arriving for the lunch had to be here more than an hour early to pass security clearance. There are road closures and traffic diversions all over the CBD. The New South Wales Police Force won't say how many officers it has deployed, but they are working alongside Mr Netanyahu's personal security detail. Good day. Mr Turnbull wanted to be sure his guest felt welcome, today writing an editorial not only in staunch support of Israel, but strongly criticising the United Nations stance on the conflict. My government will not support one-sided resolutions criticising Israel of the kind recently adopted by the Security Council. We want to see peace between Israel and the Palestinians through a negotiated two-state solution. But we recognise that a durable settlement can only be achieved if the security of Israel is assured. While Mr Turnbull did not raise the issue of Jewish settlements in the West Bank, the opposition Certainly leader did. My party believes in a two-state solution. Before it will require dealing with some of the roadblocks to peace, from settlements to land swaps to fundamental propositions such as security and borders. For Mr Netanyahu, the objective of this friends. tour is to build friends and strengthen ties. When I colour the map, I colour Australia in the same colour as the United States. And for the latest on this historic visit, we're joined now live by Daniela Rotorto on Sydney Harbour. Daniela, tell us what's happening this evening. Well, Janice, uh, as we go to air, there is a huge service at a Sydney synagogue where Mr Netanyahu, Resolution Prime Minister Malcolm would... Turnbull, the New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian and a host of other uh, political leaders and uh, people from the Jewish community are hearing uh, various speeches. It is uh, quite a sort of peak event uh, of the day. What you saw earlier in my piece was a lot of the ceremonial stuff and a lot of that was quite cut off to the community. But uh, this event uh, tonight is one that is, is ticketed, but uh, there are thousands of people at it. Also at the event was a much smaller group of people. They were pro-Palestinian protesters. Uh, quite a, a small group, it was peaceful, but it was uh, vocal as well. Tomorrow there's going to be a much bigger pro-Palestinian protest that's been officially organised because for all of the uh, ceremony and, and welcome that was extended to Mr Netanyahu today, this visit is not one that's without controversy. There are plenty of people, prominent people, who've put their name to a letter who say Mr Netanyahu should not have received the invitation in the first place. Just something that I observed today uh, between the two leaders, Malcolm Turnbull and uh, Bill Shorten. You could see with Malcolm Turnbull that he was uh, very comfortable uh, with Benjamin Netanyahu Netanyahu. He kept referring to him as Bibi, his nickname. He uh, sprinkled much of his address today with uh, lots of Hebrew phrases. But for Bill Shorten, it was a bit of a harder line to walk. He 
has been under pressure for more pro-Palestinian uh, factions within the Labor Party to take a harder line against Israel. He still delivered a very pro-Israel speech, but uh, he, I think, had a, a bit of a, a tougher line to walk today. But uh, Mr Shorten and Mr Turnbull will keep uh, pushing uh, their views, I guess, uh, with Mr Netanyahu uh, over the next few days because there's still three days to go on this visit. And plenty of issues on the agenda, no doubt. That's Daniela Retorto joining us live there from Sydney Harbour.